Merry Christmas. Hi, welcome to Kenneth Spader Christmas. You may be wondering why you're up on this real high pedestal looking back here. Well, I got a demo to show you. I had a question come in about power injection and the question was, how do you handle long pixel strings? The short answer is I try to avoid it if possible. I'll try to stick around 100 nodes for, for 12 volts. It's about 80 to 100 nodes for 12, about 50 to 80 for 5. But if you stay under that amount, then you don't really have to power inject much. I do have some displays like this guy right here, 288 pixels. I had to run two power lines to that to power uh, two rings with one cord and then two rings for another cord. So there will be times when you just have to power inject. It's pretty easy to do, it's just a little painful sometimes. So let's take a look at what we got. So here I have a 12 volt power supply. I have power going to the controller here. It's just plugged into the right side that's powering the controller. I have this feeding the first pigtail. I've got 100, 400 nodes here that I wanna show you, so I'm gonna pull way more than five amps. It's more like 24 amps. So I have this pigtail feeding this first set of 100 nodes. We come out here, we've got another pigtail feeding this 150 nodes. Uh, that comes out here and feeds this other 150 nodes for a total of 400 nodes. Now if you look real close, we already have a problem. We're at 8.7 volts and that is at the end of this second string. So I'm going to turn this turn this on. I'm running it at 100%, and we'll see what these looks like. They're all they're all hooked up in a single string, and it will probably be pretty ugly. Let's see. Okay, so the first string looks pretty good. The second string is looking kind of anemic there. The third string, it's barely even lighting up. So we need to do our first power injection. So after the first power injection, I basically came from the same power supply and just connected another positive and negative to the end of string one. So let's take a look and see what it does now. Well, that's better. We're still dipping down to about four volts here so that's still a problem on the end of the string and if you can't really tell so we're kind of flickering here so and this is actually pretty yellow so we're still not doing great on power but the first string is good the second string is better so let's stop this and we'll do another power injection Okay, so I've got a second power injection here. I've got, okay, got the first one here. This is the end of the second string. So I'm coming from the same power supply into the, to the second string and the voltage is already better. It's at 12 volts. So let's turn this on. And that looks fantastic. This is at 100%. And I don't see any issues with these lights. And if you look at the voltmeter, we're staying up above 11 volts. So that's not bad. And I'll turn this off. So now, what if you have a long, very long run and it just isn't practical to run everything from a single power supply. So, you know, maybe a, a, a long roof line or something like that. You need to add a second power supply. So here's how you do that. We're coming out of the power supply, feeding the first string, injecting power to the end of the first string, coming through the second string, injecting power to the end of the second string, all from power supply one. Power supply two will come in and start feeding the third string. You don't want to ever connect the positive sides of two different power supplies together. That's bad, bad, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. 
uh, I do have all the negatives connected together. So you see the first two strings are lit up and that's because they're being fed by the first power supply. Let me plug in the second power supply and we get lights again. a little funky on this camera for some reason as it starts to dim but I'm actually not seeing that with my eyes I'm guessing it's just something that's just probably blowing out the camera a little bit because these are pretty bright let's do a color wash and see if that makes any difference mm, not really on the camera so a couple things oh and I don't know if you noticed but the the voltage was still good here Let's see if any of these wires are warm. These are pretty small wires for running this much current. So that's basically the technique for doing this. If you, you inject every 100 nodes or so, if you're using 12 volts, 50 to 80, if you're using 5 volts, if you have to use separate power supplies because maybe one power supply is uh, either too far away or you've got too much connected to it, split the positive lead keep all the negative leads connected start feeding the rest of the string with the second power supply and if you have to do a third you split it there and a fourth you split it there it just really depends on the length of the string but as long as you've got good voltage at the end of all the strings the data will go ahead and progress down the line just fine you won't have any flickering or uh, weird looking bulbs or anything like that so that's the technique. It's really pretty simple. You may have to get a little creative sometimes to get the wires all connected the way you want to. Just about everything affects whether or not you'll need to power inject. Uh, basically, if you go over 100 nodes, you, you will need to inject power, but the wire between your controller and the pixels, the wire between the pixels, the pixels themselves, the brightness that you're running, if you're running any extensions between set one and set two ideally you want to go with one power supply to feed your pixels if you need to bridge power supplies make sure you cut that positive lead in between them but connect all the negative leads together if possible uh, if you don't you may get flickering if there's a, a voltage difference you may not be able to do it so you may have to connect the negative side really it's just let your lights be your guide if they don't look right then check the power check the voltage at the end of the string if it's more than a volt or two then that's probably an indication that you need to inject power you can inject from in either side you can inject in the middle of the string it really doesn't matter data is the only thing that is serial that's going one way but power can be injected really anywhere so whatever is most convenient for your display is pretty much where you put the power. I hope this information was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Mm. I am invincible. Yes, the kids are